This is David, an award-winning charity worker and an artist who sells his craft to raise funds to support local charities. I volunteer looking after bees. You would never think someone who spreads your supplies look after bees. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's rewind. David has been on a long journey. I kept going um, to checkups because I kept getting headaches. No one said anything. And then, like, when I was eight or nine, I started getting violent headaches, throwing up constantly. When we got to hospital, I was took straight to operating because they found out it was a brain tumour. And if I didn't have the operation that night, I would have been dead the next morning. <laughs> this is how David first came into contact with Slater and Gordon. A successful claim meant that David could afford the support and care he would need for the rest of his life. David then met the Court of Protection lawyers at Slater and Gordon, who look after David when making decisions about his welfare. We had them um, making scones, blindfolded for fun. They got me in touch with a case manager and helped me look, start looking for a place where I can live in the future. David searched high and low for the perfect property that he would be able to adapt to his specific needs. He found one that was up for auction and immediately called his lawyer. We managed to buy the site, which was a derelict house. It was all fallen to pieces. This is the house that I got. Like you can see, it's all we were overgrown, very run down, and that's the back of the house. It was pretty much a mess. David moving into his house was a big step. He doesn't have to worry too much on the bills because Slater and Gordon sort that side out. They got me in involved with it, and I, I got to like say everything what I wanted. With David's help, the contractors broke ground and adapted David's new home to suit his day-to-day -day needs. They did adaptions throughout the house, making it suitable for me. The kitchen's all being built higher up and rounded edges, so then I don't bump into anything. A huge bedroom, it's got a huge sliding door to let in light. A study where I got a special computer and stuff. I got a big open walk-in shower. I got a huge walk-in closet because I couldn't see what clothes, colours and stuff. If I ever have any more problems, it can easily be adapted, like for wheelchair. He's so happy in his home and it really has made him. He's, he's so independent. Along with these helpful adaptions, David came up with a few special modifications of his own. Because I'm also visually impaired as well. There's like a nice sensory patch with all different smells and stuff. One of my biggest hobbies is arts and crafts. So I've had a, a huge outdoor building built as an art studio. I do like pottery, felting, you name it, <laughs> I could probably do it. We're now almost back to where we started. Slater and Gordon introduced David to the charity Headway, where he could meet other people with similar experiences with brain injuries. Talking to other people with similar problems of you, it sort of boosts your confidence up. Earlier on, I hardly even said anything to anyone there were two afraid. Now I'm going around uh, doing tour guides, speaking to other people. It's going down really, really well and they can't actually <laughs> shut me up now. <laughs> David worked on his arts and crafts and began to sell them to raise money. He even transforms his amazing home every year and opens it up to the public for his Halloween spectacular, with all the donations going to Headway to help others. He is a different person from the David that I met when I started eight years ago to the person he is now is unbelievable. Little did he know, Headway and the Mayor of Preston felt it was time that David was recognised for all his fundraising efforts. You were remembered for the shy, quiet young man and what we've seen is you grow fantastically in confidence, in yourself and your natural abilities and we just think you've gone through an amazing journey which you're still on. You've raised hundreds of pounds for Headway Preston and Shirley. So we'd like to say a huge thank you.